agriculture, there is a wide range of needs to produce good quality products. One of these needs is water source. The most common water source is in the form of rain, and rainwater is naturally produced by clouds. By understanding clouds and how clouds form, it will introduce us to different techniques like cloud seeding that will be of great help to improve not only our fields, but also the overall quality of our products. That is why in this video, we will learn what is cloud, how it is formed, and the different types of it. Clouds are masses of water droplets or ice crystals that are floating in the atmosphere. They are an important part of the Earth's weather and climate. Clouds form when an area of air becomes cooler until the water vapor in that area condenses to liquid form. The temperature, wind, and other conditions where a cloud forms will determine the type of the cloud. Cirrocumulus clouds are among the most gorgeous out there. These usually form at about 5 km above the surface with small white fluff patterns that spread out for miles and miles over the sky. They're sometimes called mackerel skies because they can sometimes have a grayish color which makes the clouds look a bit like fish scales. Cirrocumulus clouds exhibit features from both cumulus and cirrus clouds but should not be confused with altocumulus clouds. While the two can look similar, cirrocumulus does not have a shading and some parts of altocumulus are darker than the rest. Cirrocumulus clouds comes after cirrus cloud during warm frontal system. Cirrus clouds is one of the most common type of clouds. They can be seen at any time of the year. They are thin and wispy. Cirrus clouds stand out among other types of clouds because they are often colored in bright yellow or red before sunrise and after sunset. Cirrus stratus clouds have a sheet-like appearance that can look like a curly blanket covering the sky. They're quite translucent which makes it easy for the sun or the moon to peer through. Their color varies from light gray to white and the fibrous bands can vary widely in thickness. Purely white, cirrus stratus clouds signify this have stored moisture, indicating the presence of a warm frontal system. Some of the best cloud pictures involve cirrus stratus clouds because the ice crystal beautifully refract light from the sun or moon producing a dazzling halo effect. Cirrus stratus cloud can turn into alto stratus cloud if these descend to a lower altitude. Nimbus stratus The name Nimbus stratus comes from the Latin words Nimbus which signifies rain and stratus signifies spread out. This dim mist brings heavy rainfall and blocks the sun because of its thickness. Autocumulus stratiformis Autocumulus stratiformis is an extensive sheet or layer of separate or merged elements. This is by far the most frequently occurring species. Altocumulus castellanus Altocumulus castellanus clouds take their name from their resemblance to the turrets of castles and are often a warning of thunderstorms. Altocumulus flocos Altocumulus flocos is a small tufts of cumuliform appearance and altocumulus flocus sometimes forms as a result of the dissipation of the base of altocumulus castellanus. Altocumulus lenticularis Altocumulus lenticularis is a type of altocumulus that appears as lens-shaped patches of altocumulus. Viewed from above, a thin altocumulus lenticularis can be transparent enough to reveal the ground but it still looks fairly dark. Thick altocumulus lenticularis looks white and bright glories may be observed on it.
Altostratus translucidus. The transparency of Altostratus translucidus is higher than the other species of clouds because it's so thin that you can see the sun through it. Altostratus opacus. Altostratus opacus is the opposite of Altostratus translucidus because it's thick and you cannot see the sun through it and once it descends, it will be transformed into a nimbostratus. Altostratus panus. Altostratus panus has disorganized layers and it is like being shredded and ripped. Altostratus radiatus. Altostratus radiatus is formed by vibrating like clouds parallel to each other, pointing towards the horizon. Altostratus undulatus. Altostratus undulatus is a thin layer of mist that mimic waves, and undulatus means waved. Altostratus duplicatus. Altostratus duplicatus is formed by many layers of altostratus clouds on top of each other in this cloud structure. Altostratus mama. Altostratus mama is a rare species of clouds and it resembles a woman's mammary glands. Stratus clouds are composed of thin layers of clouds covering a large area of the sky. This is simply mist or fog when it forms close to the ground. You can easily distinguish a stratus cloud by the long horizontal layers of cloud which have a fog-like appearance. The clouds form from large air masses that rise to the atmosphere and later condense. These are pretty benign in terms of rainfall producing light showers, or even light snow if the temperature falls down below freezing. However, if enough moisture is retained at ground level, the cloud can transform into a nimbus stratus. Stratus clouds are very common all over the world, most especially in the coastal and mountainous regions. Cumulus clouds are the most recognizable cloud out of all the types of clouds. They appear like a pile of cottons that form a large mass with a well-defined round edges. The word cumulus is the Latin term for heap. Cumulus clouds are a sign of fair weather, but sometimes they may discharge rains in the form of light shower. Cumulonimbus is a fluffy and white-like cumulus, but the cloud formations are far larger. It's a vertical developing type of cloud whose base grows from 1 up to 8 kilometers, hence it's commonly called a tower cloud. For the same reason, cumulonimbus is both a low-level and high-level type of cloud. At the low altitude, the cloud is mostly made of water droplets, but the high-altitude summit is dominated by ice crystals. The rain comes and goes with this cloud, but when it does, it can come pouring. When you say a cumulonimbus, you know there's a thunderstorm waiting to happen somewhere. Cumulonimbus clouds can be seen most commonly during the afternoons of summer and spring months when the Earth's surface releases heat. Stratocumulus clouds look like a thick blanket of stretched out cotton. They are like cumulus clouds but bigger. The color of the clouds depend on its thickness. Some people think that rain is likely to occur when they see these clouds. But in reality, you'll be lucky to get a light drizzle out of them.